how to place an order on Fiverr. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can place an order on Fiverr or basically hire someone or purchase a gig from Fiverr. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to Fiverr.com. And before I begin explaining how you can purchase gigs, I'm going to show you how to navigate through the platform and what gigs basically are. So gigs are basically people's offerings of what kind of services or products that they provide usually it is services so you can see that if you just go onto fiverr.com and you scroll down you can see there are several different services that you can find you have specific niches and marketplaces over here as well so the first thing that you're going to do you can see that on your top you have this little bar and you can find a specific service so you can go within these categories and let's say you're looking for someone to do your logo design so you can just click on logo design over here and then you can even click on these filters over here so before i explain the filters i'm going to show you guys like these are gigs and gigs are basically the offerings of people so what people are offering to you what kind of services they are offering and then you have their starting prices as well now what you can do is that you can select the kind of service you want so let's say that if you have like a specific kind of logo in mind you can click on these filters over here so you can give out a specific logo style that you want you can also set the file format that you want and also any kind of service um, curriculars or any kind of add-ons on the service that you want. So if you want a printable file or a source media kit or a 3D mockup, so you can add those as well. And then you have your seller details as well. So you can add certain filters to what kind of sellers you want. So a level two, a level one, or a new seller, or someone that is a top rated seller. So you can select the kind of level you want. You can sell a uh, select what language that they speak or where they are from then you have your budget so you can enter a maximum or a minimum budget let's say if you want to keep this under $50 so you're just going to click on apply over here and then you have your delivery time as well so how much time would you like to allocate to this service uh, do you need this logo urgently do you need it to be completed within the next 24 hours up to three days up to seven days or any time so let's say I want this logo in three days and I'm just going to click on apply over here and now after applying Applying these new filters over here I have new search results so you can see over here that these are the people that fit the filtrations that I enabled now after that you even have on your right side your professional services so these are vetted professionals that have been um, verified for the quality of service that they provide then you have local sellers so you can look for people from your country wherever you're from and then you have online sellers so sellers who are currently online so if you want a quick and immediate response from a seller then you can select online sellers so if i want like an immediate response i want this done very soon i can select over here and now you can see over here that you can pick out any kind of seller that you want so how do you actually hire them or book a gig on fiverr well first off you're going to scroll and you're going to find something that you like um, I really like this kind of logo, so I'm just going to continue on over here. And then you can see their basic package. So one concept included, one logo transparency, and a printable file. It does not have a source file, 3D mockup, or vector file. Make sure to thoroughly read these before you purchase or buy the gig, because you're going to be purchasing what their basic package is. Now, if you want more features, you can click on their standard or premium packages. Every seller has these. So you have their basic package, you have the high selling package, where you have everything but a 3D mockup, and then you have a premium version where you have a 3D mockup and unlimited revisions, priority support, and all file formats. Now, uh, you don't have unlimited revisions on your basic version. So let's say I want to book them on the standard version. So what you would do is like if you find all of these details to be good you can just continue on but if you want more information about what kind of service that they are providing or like what are the very specifics if you have any questions related to the service you're purchasing or the gig that you are purchasing you're going to click on contact seller and then over here what we're going to do is we're going to first off create our fiverr account so you can just continue with your Facebook, Google, or Apple ID or enter your email. I'm going to continue with my Google account because I already do have an account on Fiverr that is linked to my Google account. 
So now I'm just going to continue on over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on contact seller over here if you have any further questions. And then you can just contact them and get a average response time. You can see the average response time is one hour. And this person is currently online. So I can expect to receive a reply within the hour. Now, how to actually book a gig. You find the seller, you like the details, you have cleared out all questions. Then you're just going to click on continue over here. And then you can see over here, these are your upgrades with extra. So this is a basic package. And what are some extra features that I might want to add? Well, you have a 3D mock-up and this will include one more day. And then you have 10 plus dollars. In that situation, I would be getting a 3D mock-up as well. And then if you want to tip them, you can also tip them. Uh, you can also have color codes filed, font file, 5K with 500 DPI logos. So depending on any kind of extra features that you want, you can select and add these on now after that what you're going to do is you're going to click on continue to check out and once you click on continue to check out you just select your preferred payment method so if you want to continue with paypal you can do that or you can just enter your credit or debit card information depending on whatever you want and then you're just going to click on continue to your paypal checkout and then you're just going to enter your paypal information so in this way you can book any kind of gig on fiber may it be from any kind of profession whatsoever so you can find any service that you want let's say i was looking for a um website coder so i would just search that or you can even go into these categories and you can see the different people that are providing this service now if you want to work within a specific category you can find those as well let's say if you're looking for someone that does video editing so if i go into video and animation i can click on video editing and then i can click on service options over here and then let's say i want video editing for um movie trailers so I can just click on apply over here just to filter out any extra kind of results. And then uh, you have your different kind of options or sellers that are selling this service specifically that you have looked for. And you can find editors for or any kind of service for a lot cheaper than you usually would on any other online platform because Fiverr is like so saturated that sellers are really doing their best to keep their prices low. So people are offering their services for such a discounted price that you would probably not be able to find a better price otherwise now it is best to help out these creators and these sellers to tip them when you possibly can and the booking process is a very simple and easy process you can book any kind of service directly from fiber and hire your uh, freelancers right off their platform and the payment process is very simple once you do that you can click on your messages over here and then you're going to have a record of all the communications between you and the person that you booked and then on your account you can just click on over here and then you can have uh, like details about your own business as well if you're doing a lot of hiring and firing you can create your own profile and add details over here as well and then you can click on post a request as well and then request for a certain service that you're looking for if you, if you were not able to find someone that meets your specific requirements you can just search over here for whatever kind of service that you're looking for if, it, if it's a specialized service you can definitely search for post a request for that kind of service so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video